Today I'm going to be filming a bit of an experimental video and it is an attempt to freshen up my grey hair. So as you can see, I currently have greyish silver ends, um, but I do want to kind of pump up the volume and also I have some highlights through the top of my hair which I want to kind of tone away from blonde to be grey. Um, so I did actually order a Manic Panic colour. They do have a colour which is called Blue Steel, <laughs> named after Zoolander. And I actually ordered some last night on eBay because the colour is not going to be available in Australia for a while. I think it was available and it sold out really quickly. Um, and I've had a look online and pretty much the most logical thing to do is to buy some on eBay. So I have bought two of those um, for about $25 each, but it says that they might arrive mid-June and we're at the end of May so I can't really wait two weeks to dye my hair again. The colour that I had done was done at the salon professionally and that salon is New Do in Newtown in Sydney so if you want to have your hair done definitely go there and I'm really happy with it. The only thing is that like obviously the colour it, it is still grey uh, on camera it probably looks more grey than it actually is. It's pretty much like an ash blonde um, and it's faded out a little bit and also it just feels quite dry because of you know the extra bleaching and stuff and the thing that I love about Manic Panic is every time I dye my hair it just makes it feel so soft because it kind of like fills all the gaps in the hair with this magical colour and the colour is non-toxic, vegan, uh, doesn't have ammonia, doesn't have bleach or anything in there. So I went to Price Attack just then and I thought to myself, what is grey? Well obviously grey is light black. <laughs> so I thought, hey, I'm going to get Raven, which is the black colour, and just see what happens. So I asked the girl in the shop if she'd ever pastelized this or seen it mixed with anything else and she said no. So that was really helpful, but anyway, um, she was kind of like, let me know how you go, because she knows that people have been coming in asking for grey, and there's really no way to make it. And I saw um, a tutorial, or yeah, I think it was a tutorial, or it was at least a blog post that someone did, where they mixed Bad Boy Blue or After Midnight, one of the really dark blues, with a bit of pink, and that somehow balanced out to be a charcoal colour. Now the thing is, with my hair right now, it's definitely like a light grey, almost white, in, like it really does look white in a lot of my photos and sometimes in person. Um, so I'm okay with that as an end result, but to be honest, like I wouldn't mind if I dyed it and it went to like a charcoal grey, I think that would look quite nice. So I'm not really scared about mixing the Raven colour with conditioner, like I'm just going to see what it looks like. If it looks charcoal, I'm just going to put it on my hair and see what happens. And what's the worst that can happen? I wash it vigorously for a week and then it fades. So as well as that, I also got After Midnight, which is like a navy blue. Because I thought, if I pastelize this and for some reason it looks green or some other weird color, because with black it's really hard to know until you pastelize it what's going on in there. So it's possible it could turn out a bit greenish. So then I got the blue and I thought I could mix a bit of that in there. Another alternative, if I pastelize this and in the bowl it doesn't look nice, I might just pastelize the blue and do that. And then as a third option, I got my favorite, which is Electric Amethyst, which is just like a dusty lavender when you pastelize it. So I've got these three options here. I'm going to go and have a shower and wash my hair so that my hair is completely clean. I'm going to shampoo it, no conditioner, and then I will come back and... Let's do this. See you in a bit. Okay, so I'm back and I've shampooed my hair and just I'm out of the shower. Uh, there's no product in here, there's no conditioner, so I'm ready to get started. I've just put a towel around me and sorry for the camera angle, but I do think this is going to be the best angle for you to see everything that's happening and in the bathroom that I'm in, there's just a mirror on the wall. There's no cabinet for me to rest the camera, so enjoy this lovely, strange angle, but the attention's on the hair, not on anything else. So the first thing I'm going to do is put gloves on. As usual, the conditioner I'm using is the Tresemme because it's white and affordable. It's about $10 for a huge 2-litre 
actually no, it's only 900 ml bottle. Um, so yeah, I guess the first thing I'm going to do is dish out a bunch of this into one of the bowls, which will be the base. And I use this because it's cheap and it's white so you can see the colour really well. And Manic Panic is pretty accurate, like whatever colour you see is the colour that your hair will be. So that means it's easy to control uh, the colour. The first colour that I'm going to try is the Raven, so it's black. So this is pretty risky because I really have no idea what this is going to do to my hair. It could, could turn black, it could turn charcoal, it could turn blue. I have no idea. I just have this strange feeling that this, this black has a greenish, reddish tinge to it, but I don't know. So it has a seal on top in case you haven't used this before. You have to really carefully peel it off and make sure none of it goes anywhere. Actually this is probably like the worst place I could be doing this because our bathroom is wide. <laughs> Whoops. So more than anything, fingers crossed I don't spill and ruin the bathroom. So it does it's real it does have a greenish tinge to it. I can see that now. It definitely I was right. It's definitely got a greenish tinge to it. I don't even know if you can see that, but I'm pretty hmm I'm hesitant now. So this is the color that Raven makes and it's clearly green which is what I suspected so I'm actually just going to rinse this out straight away and I'm not going to use it to dye my hair because I can just see where this is going and it's going to be a disaster so that's my story. I will come back when I have phase two. Okay, so I have also moved locations because I just kind of realized that it was really silly to try and do any sort of dark hair dye in a white bathroom. So I've moved to um, the laundry in my house. So uh, the Raven hair dye, I probably should have Googled it a bit more to find out if anyone had attempted to pastelize it before I did this, but hey, um, you never know. One day I might want black hair and I do think it will be a really nice black if you don't dilute it. So I'll probably just give it to a friend or something. The next one I'm going to try is After Midnight, which is a blue. And I'm going to pastelize that and then mix a bit of purple and try and make some sort of grayish charcoal. So I will be back and I'll show you the result of that. Okay, so the first thing I did is I mixed the After Midnight blue with conditioner. And it's actually made still like a really bright cobalt blue. So I'm going to tip some of that out and try and pastelize it as much as I can and then add a bit of purple and we'll see what happens. So in the second bowl I put a brand new batch of conditioner and a tiny tiny bit of the blue and it's made this really light fluffy cotton candy blue. So now I'm going to add a tiny tiny bit of the purple and I think we're getting closer to grey, definitely closer. Okay so the colour I've come up with is kind of like a lavender blue and to be honest, I really like it, so I think I'm just going to give this a go. It's probably not going to be grey, but it's still going to brighten up my ends and make them not look so yellowy. So the blue is definitely going to counteract any yellow tones that are in my hair. And I'm just going to give it a whirl. So let's do this. What I'm going to do is, I think I'll do the ends. And then if I like how it looks, I'll work, work it back up onto the rest of the hair.
definitely like at least one to two shades darker than it was before and also again it's kind of hard to tell because my hair is wet but the blonde highlights that were through the top of my hair um, are now tinged with a bluey silver. They're all like the top kind of browny tone to my hair does look more kind of bluish greyish which is pretty awesome like there's just really subtle little blonde highlights through here that now look grey and um, yeah like I'm really happy with this it's very subtle I mean I already did have grey hair underneath but it's definitely brighter and yeah I think once it dries it'll definitely be more noticeable but overall it's like an ashy bluey blondy grey brownie situation and I'm really happy with it so um, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative. I think the moral of the story is that black hair dye pretty much can't be used to make grey because I did think about it and I thought about colour theory for the last hour. Most people's hair um, is kind of browny with undertones of red because when you bleach it, it goes orange or yellow. So I figure that they've probably made the black hair dye with the green because green kind of balances out orange. So that really does make sense. So if you have brownish hair and you want to dye it black, it would make sense for the hair dye to have green tones in it. But once you pastelize it out, it's just like a pastel murky forest green. Um, but yeah, I think you can definitely achieve a silver look with blue and purple and white conditioner and there were bits of my hair like especially these bits here that were almost white and they now look grey so it's definitely possible so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I will see you soon bye